Hi, I'm Dr. Nicola Conlon, and I am the CEO and lead scientist at Nichido. So we have an NAD boosting supplement called Nichido Time Plus. And it works in a different way from a precursor supplement because instead of just supplying the raw materials to the cell for them to make NAD, it actually fixes the underlying root causes that cause NAD to decline in the first place. So I'm talking all the cellular processes that are using up NAD, such as CD38, DNA repair enzymes, for example. And then also the fact that there are critical enzymes in the NAD production process that have declined. So NAMPT, for example, the rate limiting enzyme in the salvage pathway that is absolutely critical for NAD production and recycling. Now, one of the questions that I get asked a lot is, can you use Natudo Time Plus in combination with IV infusions or NAD patches, for example? So I just thought I'd jump on and record a quick video to explain our views on this. So first of all, IV infusions and NAD patches, the jury is still out there as to how the NAD actually gets into the cell. There are some cells where NAD can go directly in, for example, through the Connexin 43 channel. There are some cells that it simply is too big to cross the membrane. The jury's still out. Who knows how it gets in there? We need some good scientific studies done on this. However, the benefits and the anecdotal evidence is that people do feel a benefit with infusions and patches. So regardless of how that NAD is actually getting into the cell, you really need to think about what is happening once it's in the cell. And actually, are you getting the most benefit out of those IV infusions and those patches as you could be? Now, to explain this, I am just going to share my screen. And I'm going to show you actually what happens in the cell when you take an NAD infusion or NAD via a patch or even a precursor. So regardless of the way that the NAD gets into the cell, whether it's precursors coming in here, or it's the NAD is getting straight in, or it's being broken down into precursors first, and then it's entering the cell, you have an increase in NAD in the cell. Now, this is good because we want more NAD in the cell but this NAD is actually used up. So it's used up by the PARPs for DNA repair, it's used up by the sirtuins to activate all the downstream beneficial pathways, and it's also used up by CD38. And when it's used up, it's broken down into nicotinamide, which can be seen here. Now, nicotinamide can either go one of two ways. It can either be then recycled via the salvage pathway using this NAMPT enzyme back into useful NAD again, or if it's not recycled, it starts to build up and it actually needs to be excreted from the cell. Now, if you put a precursor or you put a NAD infusion to allow more NAD into the cells, what happens is you get this initial boost of NAD, okay? It's then all used up, so you get the kind of benefits of it, but they're short-lived because once this NAD is being used up, it is broken down into nicotinamide. And then if this is an old cell, which does not have the capacity to recycle this nicotinamide back into NAD, because this enzyme here has declined with age, then what happens is you get this nicotinamide buildup, the body somehow has to get rid of it, so it is actually methylated by this enzyme here, NNMT, which means it is excreted from the cell as methyl nicotinamide. Now, what this happens, what this causes, sorry, is methyl donor depletion in older cells because you put in this huge amount of NAD in, which is suddenly getting used up, suddenly re resulting in a large amount of nicotinamide, and this nicotinamide has to get out, so you've got to methylate it to get it out of the cell, so you get methyl donor depletion. And that is why a lot of people say that you need to actually take some methyl donors to actually replenish your methyl groups when you're taking, say, NR or NMN or using IV infusions. So 
the way to get around this is before you have your IV infusion or before you have your patch, you actually need to make sure that your cells are ready for it. So you need to make sure that actually this salvage pathway is working. So you need to increase levels of this rate limiting enzyme, NAMPT, because NAMPT is the key enzyme here. It is rate limiting, which means it's the bottleneck in the process. So if you have low NAMPT, which you do as you get older, then you will have low recycling. So this is exactly what Nichido Time Plus does. It has ingredients in it which increase the expression of this enzyme, and we have data to show that. And when you increase the expression of this in enzyme, what you find is that this nicotinamide is not excreted from the cell, it's actually recycled back into NAD. So that means you can have your IV, you can have an increase in NAD in the cells, it can be used up in all these beneficial processes, broken down into nicotinamide, and then actually recycled back into NAD again. So what happens is you get a prolonged NAD boost in the cells. So all that money you've spent on an IV infusion actually lasts longer. So we promote people to actually take Nichido Time Plus alongside an infusion or an IV patch um, to actually prolong the effects of it. Because what our product does is it fixes the cell's ability to recycle the NAD once you've got it into the cells. So I hope that makes sense of why you would use our product, Nichido Time Plus, in combination with an IV infusion or an NAD patch, because it will actually prolong the effects and prolong the benefits that you are going to get from that. If you don't use something like this to actually improve the salvage pathway before having an IV or during having an IV, then you're going to get a boost, but it is not going to last it would be much better if you could continue to reap the benefits of those high NAD levels long after the infusion has ended. So thank you so much for listening and I hope that makes sense um, and I'll be back again to do some more explanatory videos about our product Nichido Time Plus.